How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in the last three weeks and I have a really good reason. I've been all over the place. I've been doing so many things, nothing but really good things. It's been an amazing three weeks full of adventures and I'm just excited to share everything that's been going on in my life with you guys. I feel like most of the time I just post tattoos and the way I do things, but I feel like today I want to get a little bit personal and just express how happy I am with uh, life in general you know so the first thing I want to share with you guys it is my trip to Florida Tampa Florida I went to the Ink Mania uh, Expo to give a seminar she know he is the person that put the whole expo together and he reached out asking me hey do you want to give out a seminar I really love your stuff so I would love for you to come and be part of the show and at first I was more of a should I go should I not go I talked to my wife and she was like you know what I think you should do it I think this is a great opportunity for you and I said you know what I think it is <laughs> so even though I was super nervous I said let's let's do it I'm 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 down luckily for me I found a perfect canvas and that is his name is Sean his Instagram it is I do cover-ups he came to one of my seminars about two years ago and he lives in Florida luckily for me he's such a down-to-earth person so the day finally came and the people that were coming with me was of course my beautiful wife then uh, my executive coordinator which his name is Marcos Felix one of my clients and also I consider him as a really good friend Richard he's been getting tattooed by me for the last three to four years he said I I'll meet you over there in Florida I want to come and hang out with you guys so I thought that was amazing <laughs> everything happened so quick that I didn't have a chance to really get ready so I didn't get banners I didn't get business cards I didn't get chairs lights nothing my booth was just empty all I brought with me was my merch by the end of day one, I realized that my booth was looking a little too sad. So we headed to Walmart afterwards and we got a curtain, we got acrylic paint, I got a brush and I started painting my logo on this on this curtain that I was going to hang the next day. I've never been more positive about my life in this moment. This is how much we love you. <laughs> this is a good looking circle, I'm not going to lie. Hey, you're pulling so hard, folks. Who, me? Yeah. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Marco. Well, I'm trying. He's on my side. Um, I'm trying to student council. Are <laughs> <laughs> you student council? So was I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. The story of our lives. I heard. Uh, <laughs> Always the support, never the stories. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There it is. There? There, that's it. We're done? Got it? Okay, I think so. Go. It like... So does it make sense? <laughs> Dang, that looks oh, so wow. good. Oh, wow! That does look good. <laughs> It was the day of the seminar and I was feeling a little bit tired just because the time frame it is three hours ahead in Florida and in Phoenix is three hours behind so I, I, I couldn't adjust my body to with, for, with the sleeping schedule we also have a really fun night so we ended up going out playing darts start customizing so the customizing is the most important thing for me it is the most important thing in a mix but right now I'm gonna apply first my solder black boom I'm done Let's let it rest for a little bit, put a little bit of ointment, go back to a different spot. Man, that's weird! Yeah, no, right? I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? So not to make a big change. <laughs> you 
we do have a lot of conventions. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there are the cops. But honestly, I think what made this trip very special for me was having my wife with me, my executive coordinator, uh, Felix, and having such an amazing friend uh, tagging along with us and making the trip a lot more enjoyable, uh, Richard. And having Sean as a canvas just made things a lot less uh, stressful for me. So I'm I feel very grateful that I had such a an amazing trip with amazing people. For this next thing that I'm going to share with you guys, I'm going to switch to speaking Spanish, but I'm going to put English subtitles right on the bottom just because this next person here is from Mexico. He doesn't speak English. So whenever he sees this, I want him to understand everything I'm, I'm saying. Después de llegar de la exposición de Florida, se me dio la gran oportunidad de tatuar a alguien que yo admiro como persona. Es alguien que nunca pensé que en mi vida iba a conocer. Afortunadamente, le dieron la, la visa de trabajo pudo hacer una gira en Estados Unidos y afortunadamente le tocó una, una, un show aquí en Phoenix. Uh, tuvimos un poco de comunicación del pasado, yo deseándole buena suerte para sus próximas batallas. Él es un gran artista, un gran rapero, freestylero y ahora se me dio la oportunidad de tatuar a Lobo Estepario. Lo que sí me dio mucha felicidad es que él me dio la, la libertad de crear algo específicamente para él al momento que yo abro la puerta. Lo miro a él, me presento y automáticamente siento esa conexión como persona con él. Y dije, esto va a ser un día perfecto, tranquilo, vamos a llevarla bien. Y el concepto estaba más que perfecto, entonces iba a ser un día bueno, no importaba las circunstancias. ¿Qué pasó? Gusto en conocerte, brother. No, ma, en serio. No, ma. Gracias, gracias. Ay, me la voy a probar para entrar en, eh, en mi modo bestia. <risa> en la foto se mira más oscuro, ¿eh? Sí. Sí, en persona ya no, no está tan feo en persona, fíjate. Bueno, el, el, el concepto... Sí, 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 sí. El concepto sí, pero, pero no está tan, tan que digamos jodido que digamos. Durante la sesión era algo impresionante, se sintió como que éramos sido amigos desde hace años atrás, compartiendo cultura, compartiendo anécdotas, hablando de nuestro trabajo, de su trabajo. Qué bien, qué bueno que te sí, dieron la hermano, visa. hermano, nos dieron la visa de trabajo hace, hace un poquito menos de un año, güey. Uh -huh. Y vinimos para acá, pero no, no llegamos a Phoenix. Uh -huh. Fue como lo más clásico, Nueva York, sí, sí, Los sí. Ángeles, Chicago, todo, todo Texas, güey. Uf. En Texas hay un chingo de mexas, güey. O sea, me gustaría venir y hacerme todo, todo el proyecto. Oh, ese pedo, sí. Y sería cosa de que lo habláramos chido y así. No, yo con gusto. Porque... Pues sí, o sea, ya cuando hablamos nosotros yo dije, nada, pues de aquí a que yo vaya pinche fin. Sí. Y de aquí a que yo pueda pisar las tierras americanas, no va a estar cabrón, güey, ¿no? Y, y pues mira, ¿no? Pues vueltas que da la vida. Que, pues o sea, aparte que me gusta a mí un chingo el tatuaje, güey. Uh -huh. La neta sí es raro, güey, ver a alguien que se rife tan cabrón, güey, ¿no? O sea, gracias, wey. gracias. Queriendo rimar, o sea, es Ajá, algo que, que puede salir natural, pero en realidad no. Sí. Por experiencia, yo sé que no es fácil. Es como la banda que me dice, no, güey, es que yo no soy bueno para ese pedo, güey. Es que nadie es bueno para ese pedo, güey. Sí. No es como que tú digas, voy a freestylear y en dos días ya estás improvisando. No, sí. Wey. Y le digo, yo era un asco, güey, cuando empecé, güey, no va a ser un pendejo, carnal. No enlazaba ni dos palabras, güey, ¿sabes? Sí. Pero pues, obviamente es darle, 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 güey. Hasta que se logra, güey. A mí no soy tan fan de que me digan a veces, este, güey, 
tú naciste talentoso. Uh -huh. Porque como que me quita todas Mérito, las sí. horas, el mi mérito, son horas, 10 años de trabajo, yo de practicando y para que alguien me diga, naciste talentoso. Sí estoy de acuerdo a que uno nace con la creatividad abierta. Ah, sí. Más desarrollado que otros. Eso sí estoy de acuerdo. Donde se me dice, güey, eres creativo. Qué bueno que lo pusiste a uso. Gracias. Eso, a ver. Gracias, gracias, gracias. ¿Cuál fue la parte que, que dijiste? Me dolió la bien, última, machín. Wey. La última. La de abajo, la última. La de abajo. Sí, güey. <risa> Hasta dejé de hablar, güey, porque dije, güey, voy a concentrar, güey, en el dolor. O sea, no sentí tanto el dolor, güey. Porque si sí me estaba doliendo un chingo, güey. Sí, no, ya al último sí ya estaba sintiendo acá el poder, güey. Sacando el poala, eh. Sí, güey, sacando el extra, güey. Ese, ese video, ¿cómo me gusta del fuá? Sí, está bien verga, está bien verga. Está bien güey. Me, me gusta un chingo cuando el vato le hace... Lo que se proyecta de la <risa> Como que lo visualiza, güey. Sí, güey. No, me, soporta... me gusta la pausa que hace, güey. Está bien pasado, güey. Cabrón, ahora ya, ya me emputan estos, güey. ¿Verdad, güey? No, ya tengo parejo, todo. Dale, verga. Era al revés, güey. Era de abajo hacia arriba, güey. Mi amigo Rubén este, iba a ir conmigo para el show que iban a tener en Phoenix, Arizona. Y después él me dice, ¿sabes qué? Este, el show va a ser a las 8, pero llega a las 7 y media. Porque quiero que estés con nosotros backstage. Y dije yo, no. Ahí no me la podía creer. Dije, no. Voy a estar en backstage con Lobo, Asesino, RC, Joyker, Gero. No, hombre. Dije, no me la voy a creer. Pero yo dije, ¿sabes qué? Ok, allá te miro. Estando backstage fue una experiencia que no voy a olvidar. Este, al ver a todos cómo se preparaban antes de subir al show fue algo surreal. No sé si esa es la palabra correcta. Salimos afuera mientras ellos hacían su su prueba de sonido, el lobo subió y que me dedico una rima y dije yo, esta noche no se puede poner mejor. Soy el mejor dentro del PMS, que nunca me tropiece, que yo soy como estos güeyes, que tuvo mi canal y los tatuajes como los reyes. <risa> Este, muy atentos todos, no, no, no me hicieron sentir fuera del grupo, sino que todos platicaban, todos te hicieron sentir como parte del grupo en vez de sentirte como que, no, no, tú vienes invitado, allá quédate, no, no, no. Fue una noche inolvidable, la verdad. Y este, ahora solamente es cuestión de esperar para que le empecemos la espalda luego este pario. The last part that I want to share with everyone, and this is a project that I recently did that I feel really proud of. I did a full color portrait. I've been doing a lot of color pieces recently. I've been doing a lot of texture, a lot of high contrast. I could do my own thing, so I didn't have to mix things to make it look like the picture, my reference. But in this situation, I was gonna tattoo Muhammad Ali, and I was gonna copy paste this picture onto my client's calf. And honestly, that is something that I hadn't done in my whole career. And it is one thing that I've been scared of doing. Even though this video is about sharing my personal uh, experiences that I've been having, I can't help but to explain how I did this tattoo. <laughs> so here we go. I used uh, an 11 curve mag with a 5.0 voltage. I used a uh, skin tone flesh. I used the uh, skin flesh tones from World Famous. And for the background, I use Radiant. The placement was everything because once I placed that stencil, it was flat, it was nice, nothing was messing with the features. It looked like it was supposed to. Once I looked at that stencil, I said, I think my best approach is for me starting on the top because the top, it was what I was motivated to do. 
the face, the body, the gloves. That was, I was very motivated to just get to that. And the way I work, I'm the type of person that likes to get motivated. So I motivate myself by doing what I'm excited for. That way, whenever I get a little bit tired and I feel like I'm rushing, I look at what, I'm, what I just did and I said, I cannot rush this. It's looking amazing, so I gotta keep my energy levels up. It's inevitable for someone not to get tired. But what I like doing is doing something that I was excited for, making it look amazing, so that way I have no room to slack because this looks amazing, and if I was to rush this little corner, you're gonna be able to tell. After I was done with the body and the gloves and the shorts, I decided, okay, I think I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with the little faces in the background. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottom of the tattoo and work my way up. So I started doing the body and the shorts for me to recover and get my energy up again. Once I was done with that body and I continued to do in the middle, I said, okay, now I'm so relaxed. Now I feel like I can execute. I'm not overwhelmed anymore. So now my body said, let's do this and really kill it because everything's looking so sick. You cannot mess up. You cannot rush this at all. And like I mentioned earlier, I've been extremely busy this last three weeks, but I've been working a lot. I have been working a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and share a few projects that I've done in the last few weeks that I did not record to post on YouTube just because I couldn't find the time to edit. I did post these projects on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna post them right now, right here. Dicen, ¿cómo sabes tanta pinche maña en el jale y lo acabas en verguiza, en putiza, así, en... Co bueno, mira, es que hay un dicho, el diablo no es... El viejo no es... El, el sabio no, no... El diablo... I will continue to make my regular videos, uh, but I also want to switch it up a little bit. So drop a comment and let me know what else do you guys want to see and I'll make those videos happen. So if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.